Sweet Houston, Texas for the Academy Sports and Outdoors Texas Bowl. All part of Capital One Bowl Mania. An old Big 12 matchup. They haven't met in eight seasons, Oklahoma State and Texas A&M, these two charter members of the... Connor Blumrick, a converted quarterback, is the backup at that position. Ma, that a quarterback keeper, gets blasted from behind and the ball is out. On the second play of the game, it's an Oklahoma State takeaway. And one of the things that Jimbo Fisher shared... Senior making his third consecutive start and ground a little pop pass to Dylan Stoner. And A&M starts strong defensively, a loss of five. Damani Richardson blows up the play. He is the quarterback in a third and 15. Brown under pressure and down he goes. Wow. Looks like he got knocked down by the back of one of his own offensive linemen. Yeah. And Tyree Johnson, three-yard try for Lansdale, Pennsylvania's Matt Amendola. It is no good. Drew Brown will give it to him again. And there goes Chuba Hubbard. His first big run of the day. He's got Olympic sprint speed, and Debian Renfro finally runs him out of bounds after a gain of 37. No, Drew Brown. Improvisation leads to a first down. Now a quick throw to catch Brandon Johnson. And Brandon Johnson is gone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Mix up in the secondary. After the holding second and 14, Brown to throw for the first time since the touchdown, and he might just have another one to Johnson. Braden Johnson will go down across the 10. His first catch went for 42 yards and six points. Drew Brown will keep it around the end. Nobody expects Drew Brown to keep the football, and he bolts into the end zone for an Oklahoma State score. Oh, a botched exchange between Mond and Spiller, the ball on the turf. Oh, boy. A fiasco yeah. waiting to happen at the bottom of this pile. Well, A&M doesn't come up with this. You talk about a deflating moment, and they don't. It's Oklahoma State's ball. What a drive the Aggies had and were putting together. Only They're not practicing. Pat, a day off? That's the second day off for them. Offensive line doesn't like this. Brown is blown up and sacked. A loss of 11 yards on the play. Tyree Johnson gets his second. And now Texas A&M's offense has got to start rewarding the defensive unit. Tom Hutton, the Australian punter. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no for Oklahoma oh, State. Wow. Oh, boy. Shank City, USA off the left foot. Up for the first three. And Mon will look to throw. Smith and Smith is taken down from behind with the first down gain of 11 yeah, Maybe something up top with the trips route Mon Pressured he'll get away from it inside the five toward the goal line and Mon is down at the one Yeah, I think he's gonna have enough for the first down Mon will hand it off this time to Spiller and Spiller is hit behind the line of scrimmage, but he does Squirrel his way in for a touchdown. Jason Taylor got him, and Spiller has six for Texas A&M. Let me take On first down, a handoff to Hubbard. Chuba Hubbard has 2,000 yards for the season, and a whole host more. He's across the 40 of A&M before Damani Richardson runs him out. L.D. Brown, the running back. Drew Brown trying to fool Texas A&M again, and Damani Richardson had none of that. A loss of seven. For his fifth tackle of the game and his second tackle for a loss did not fool the safety in the two. 20 of 25 on the year. Amendola gets it up on the way. It is no good. And so you leave A&M.
with all three. When we return, Matt Barry, Jesse Palmer, and Joey Galloway will take over for the halftime report. Mon with time and a wide open tight end, Jalen Weidermeyer across the Oklahoma State 30, down to the 26 again at 28. And a star in the making. Quarterback's best friend on third down is a tight end that has some speed, some range, and can reel it in. And this young man certainly can do it. He has had an outstanding season, 31 catches coming into the bowl game, second team All-SEC. Longest play of the game for Texas A&M. A two-back set on first down, and Mon will keep it on the option. Now a pitch to Smith. Anaya Smith sets up first and goal as he hangs on the football down to the eighth. Well, the big third down conversion to Jalen Watt on this drive. Mond, front of the end zone, touchdown! His roommate, Jamon Osmond, the Houston native, brings Texas A&M an extra point away from a tie. It all happened with the offsides penalty by Oklahoma State, breathed life into this Texas A&M offense, and we're talking about the middle of the field. It's a slant route, run to perfection, there is Hubbard, and Texas A&M was ready for it. Hubbard trying to reverse direction, and he just ends up losing an extra yard or two, minus five to start this drive. They've been perfect on third down in the quarter. They will not remain it. Bond cleaned up by Ogbon Bamiga. And Oklahoma State will force a starter. It's missed time with a thumb injury. He'll hand it off to Hubbard with a backfield stumble. And Chuba is marked short of the line to gain. It looked like one of the offensive linemen interception. Pressure comes. And Brown gets blasted. Devion Renfro, the corner off the edge for a major loss, minus nine on the play. The story of this second half has been the defensive units for both teams. And Michael Clemens gets up the field, tremendous penetration, along with Debbie. We talk about some names that played in that game. I'll get into that after this play. Kellen Mott on a design run. Wow. Mon bursts free for a first down on the Oklahoma State sideline. Brandon Whedon played in that game in 2011. Mon will run the option on second down. Mon keeps it. First down and more. Running away from Cowboy defenders. Kevin Mond is in the clear and in the end zone. 67 breathtaking yards. Block by Jamon Osman on Rodarius Williams is what frees up Kellen Ma. An excellent block on the edge. Didn't allow Williams to get back into the. Here's Hubbard. Got a block from Johnson oh down the sideline. What a cutback by Chuba Hubbard, who somehow managed to stay in bounds and burst into a and territory for 42. It's the Oklahoma State. That's what you're thinking. Brown pressured. Brown set. Initially, Jaden Peavy, DeMarvin Leal on the back end of it. Well, Leal, as well as Peavy, reestablished the line of scrimmage, and it's about four yards deep. Set up the screen for McCray. He is very close. Needed the 33. He's a yard short. You'd assume this is go for a territory. And AM's getting bodies on and off the field. And they're going to be a, allowed an opportunity to substitute and not snap the ball. Going to have to take a timeout. Down to one. Sanders. He got it off. 
and Spencer Sanders is hit shy of the line to gain. AM holds up. Maybe Oklahoma State should have taken that timeout as Sanders comes up a yard short. Picked up their offense. Give the nation's leading rusher another chance. Kevin Mond with a first down throw to Courtney Davis. And Davis with a few yards extra to midfield for 15. Oh, excellent school. Mod will keep it here. And he shows that ability again. Is he going to do it again? No. Tracked down late by Trey Sterling, who has re-entered for the second half after a gain of 30 yards. Sometimes that's just what it takes, is let him carry it. And he did. Early in the second half, gave him a couple of option plays, and that really got him playing football alone. Seven for 105. Here's a nifty run by Anaya Smith. One of the best kick blocking teams in the country under Mike Gundy, and they don't get this one as Small drills it through for a 10 point Aggie lead. Get a lot thrown, a lot more thrown his way. Brown loads up, has a wide open Johnson in the middle of the field. First down to the 19, a gain of 17. Brown on the slant to Johnson, and it's a touchdown. His second of the game. Jake McClure is onside kick, knocked down by a Texas A&M player. Looked like the Aggies got on top of it, though. We'll wait for an official word, and there it is. Gave it pretty early. Texas A&M football. Don't want to get too chippy here. Another step forward for Texas A&M. What a crowd they had. Kyle Field South, that was the challenge. <laughs> and the it. Aggies got the game the now. challenge. <laughs> what a great feeling for Texas A&M in a season that was filled with frustration against top opponents. They beat a very good Oklahoma State yeah. team, 24-21, and they win the Academy Sports and Outdoors Texas Bowl. What a great ball game by both both teams. Obviously, with Texas A&M coming out on top, but Mike Gundy has nothing to be ashamed of, and his bunch played very, very well this tonight played well this year pretty young team themselves Oklahoma State let's send it down to Alyssa Lang with a winning coach coach you're a little wet how does it feel yeah it feels really good that was a hard fight game and the way to finish this season I, I wouldn't expect anything else from this team this team fought hard we didn't reach all of our goals and we lost some tough games that we expected to win but the way they kept battling getting better each and every day that's it's a way to culminate the season how about the way your quarterback played in the second half that was big time we struggled the first half with turnovers and Give, you know, had to move the ball, and I said it. He made big time plays, big time situations, and we blocked well up front. Everybody's a total team effort. Defense play great too. What does this win mean to cap off the season, you guys? I, have? I think again, sends another message. We know how to keep preparing for bowl games for the future of bigger games in which we have to play, but we never quit. And Aggies always got pride more pie. Texas A&M, baby, we have that pride. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. Melissa, thank you. Jimbo Fisher is seven and two in postseason games as a head coach. 1-0 in 2019, the Aggies win the Academy Sports and Outdoors Texas Bowl. Trophy ceremony presented by Capital One coming up on the ESPN app. For now, we get you to Glendale, Arizona. Kevin Gandhi and crew are out west. Guys.